Warren Buffett, a legendary investor, started investing at the age of 11 and now has a net worth of $143 billion at 93. Buy and hold is one of the easiest strategies that he has implemented for decades. In this video, we will introduce five dividend stocks that Buffett buys and holds forever. Some stocks can turn a $10,000 investment to over a million dollars. Let's get started. Number five, we have Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG. This company offers a diverse portfolio of products across beauty, grooming, and healthcare. Tide Laundry Detergent, Crest Toothpaste, and Gillette Razors are some of the known brands we are using on a daily basis. Multiple products are dominating the competitive market by outselling their competitors. For instance, Bounty Paper Towel sold five times as much as its near competitor. Tide Laundry Detergent, leading the detergent market by a factor of four. Over the years, customers have developed strong brand loyalty to Procter & Gamble, making it difficult to switch to alternatives. This kind of consumer behavior is exactly what Buffett seeks in an investment. Businesses with easy-to-understand products that have enduring demand. Moreover, Procter & Gamble has forged strong partnerships with retail giants like Walmart and Kroger. Walmart's inventory is electronically integrated with Procter & Gamble, enabling automatic replenishment when stock levels run low. This strategy reduces the cost and increases the operational efficiency. This is a very mature company, and it's had 67 consecutive years of dividend increase, which makes it a dividend king in the market. The current dividend yield is 2.40%, and the dividend growth rate is 4.57% in the past 10 years. The share price appreciation is 7.56% per year in the past 10 years. For a $10,000 investment, the stock would grow to $22,992 with an annual dividend of $420 after 10 years. In 20 years, this stock would be $55,230 and the annual dividend would be $745. In 30 years, the stock would be $127,668 and the annual dividend would be $1,270. Number four, we have United Parcel Service, known by the ticker symbol UPS. This company does more than deliver packages. It also provides supply chain solutions domestically and internationally. With one of the largest airlines and a vast fleet of alternative fuel vehicles, UPS is a significant player in global logistics. In 2023, UPS delivered 22.3 million packages per day across 200 countries and territories, generating a total revenue of $91 billion. The pandemic greatly boosted demand for package delivery services. And while this demand had slowed in 2023 and 2024, the shifts towards online shopping, spurred by pandemic, remained strong. To stay ahead of the game, UPS invested heavily in automated and robotic facilities. This move will help to improve productivity and cut down the costs. The management is expected to see a 2.5% annual revenue increase from here. After the pandemic, the ecosystem for small and mid-sized businesses have changed. UPS is working closely with small and mid-sized businesses and aiming to be the top provider for delivering small packages especially for e-commerce. As the economy recovers and the upcoming rate cut, UPS is expected to have better business growth. The current dividend yield is 5.09%. This is a good return. The dividend growth rate was 9.68% per year in the past 10 years. And the share price appreciation was 2.89% per year. For a $10,000 investment, the stock would be $22,818 after 10 years. The annual dividend would be $1,161. In 20 years, the investment would be $95,930 and the annual dividend would be $4,883. In 30 years, the stock would grow to $1,052,776 
with the annual dividend of $53,586. If you guys like this content and find it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Now, let's move to the stocks. Number 3, we have HP Inc. Trading under the ticker symbol HPQ. HP is a global recognized leader in the production of computers, printers, digital devices, and related services for businesses and consumers. There are three main segments, personal systems, printing, and corporate investment. Personal systems segment refers to the company offering desktops, notebooks, and mobile devices along with its software to the customers. The printing segment provides printers, supplies, and services to the clients. The corporate investment segment focuses on new business ideas and investment. HP is also investing in areas with long-term potential. Remote work is popular these days, especially after the pandemic. So HP has developed a wide range of tools that boost the productivity for remote workers. Also, in the AI age, HP stays competitive by actively being involved in AI. New products like the HP Elite Book Ultra G1Q and Omnibook X are already in the market. In the future, the company will produce more devices and software to stay ahead of the game. Looking at the dividend history, HP has a consecutive 13 years of dividend growth. This is in line with Buffett's investment philosophy. The dividend yield is 3.27%. It is a reasonable value. In the past 10 years, the dividend growth rate is 14.95% per year. This is very impressive. We can see the company has made great profit in recent years. The share price appreciation is 7.76 per year in the past 10 years. For a $10,000 investment, the stock would be $28,053 with an annual dividend of $917 after 10 years. In 20 years, the stock would grow to $126,595 and the annual dividend is $4,140. In 30 years, HPQ would be $1,157,143. Now the annual dividend is $37,000 $839. Number 2. MasterCard with the ticker symbol MA. MasterCard is a global payments technology company that enables transactions between consumers, businesses, and financial institutions. Offering a range of services including credit, debit, and prepaid card services along with digital payment solutions. Similar to its biggest competitor, Visa, MasterCard operates worldwide, facilitating secure and efficient payment processing across diverse platforms. With 1.5 billion Master Credit Cards circulating around the world, the company's reach extends to over 100 million merchant locations. Every time a MasterCard is used, the company earns a small percentage of the transaction. No matter where we are in the economic cycle, people will always need to spend money. As one of the four major credit card companies, MasterCard has 24% of the market share, right behind Visa, who has the biggest market share of 47%. Despite recent economic challenges such as high inflation and rising interest rates, MasterCard has continued to perform strongly. The revenue has a positive growth from 2021 to 2023 continuously. It went from $18.8 .8 billion in 2021 to $22.2 billion in 2022 and $25.1 billion in 2023. Although cash is still widely used, the shift toward credit card usage continues to accelerate each year. This trend is likely to drive further growth for MasterCard, particularly in emerging markets across Latin America, Asia, and Africa. The current dividend yield is 0.55%. It seems modest, but it has an amazing dividend growth of 20.66% per year. The share price appreciation is very high, 20.13% per year in the past 10 years. For a $10,000 investment, 
the stock would be $54,338 in 10 years with an annual dividend of $313. In 20 years, the stock would grow to $357,206. Now the annual dividend would be $2,172. In 30 years, the investment would be $2,354,464 and the annual dividend would be $15,094. Number one on our list, is Louisiana Pacific Corporation, ticker symbol LPX. This company is a provider for building solutions. It manufactures wood and building products for builders, remodelers, and homeowners. With 25 mills operating in the US, Canada, Chile, and Brazil, Louisiana Pacific plays a significant role in the industry. When we go to Home Depot or Lowe's, some wooden products came from Louisiana Pacific. The company is a key player in the land and timber industry, which is expected to grow from $342 billion in 2024 to $465 billion in 2029. On average, there is a growth of 6.3% per year in the next five years. Louisiana Pacific will benefit from the growth. As the Fed moves toward interest rate cuts, the cost of borrowing will decrease, driving up the demand for housing and commercial real estate. Consequently, the need for wood and building products will rise. Buffett likes such a straightforward business model. As the housing market rebounds, Louisiana Pacific will generate more revenue. The current dividend yield is 1.07% and the dividend growth rate was 13.78% per year in the past five years. Amazingly, the share price appreciation was 21.20% per year. If you invest $10,000, in 10 years, the stock would be $59,881 and the annual dividend would be $320. In 20 years, the stock would be $422,833 with an annual dividend of $1,046. In 30 years, the stock would be $2,935,000 and the annual dividend of $31,404. These are the five dividend stocks that Buffett buys and holds forever. Investment is like a marathon. It takes time to build wealth. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more helpful tips like this. See you in the next video.